Lucky Bamboo for manifesting love, money, healing, cleansing, protection, calming, grounding, motivation. Can't let go, won't let go. An eye for an eye. Crossroads in the relationship. Is there a separation here? If these are all the things going on inside your head, Virgo, stay tuned. Your reading is next. Okay, Virgo. So let's begin over here. I have your chart for people who's wondering. It can be in, uh, you can find the reports in the description box below. So go get it. Okay. If you need your sidereal placement, please do remember I don't do Western, I do sidereal Vedic astrology. Okay, so let's see what's going on. You have the moon. Um, you have the moon in Virgo right now, and it is in Chitra. Chitra is uh, um, Chitra is Mars ruled. Mm -hmm. So normally these are people who will be good in martial arts, or you can be a chef. Okay, having this kind of placement or uh, martial arts, chef, surgeon, um, anything that involves the hands, cutting. Um, not a magician, but can be a masseuse, a physical therapist, um, for people has displacement. Uh -huh. But this can be something that you're getting today because the moon is in Virgo. You may be enrolling into martial arts. You may be, um, right now your mind is about like, oh, I want to get some massage, some relaxation. Uh -huh. Um, now what I'm seeing for the Virgo here, looking at the chart, um, you have, you will, you, hmm, well, probably at the end of the month or someone might come back. At the end of this month, uh, if you're expecting someone, mm -hmm. uh, an ex-husband, an ex-boyfriend, an ex-girlfriend, but more of husband because Jupiter is uh, is the spouse. Mm -hmm. mm, look at my face. <laughs> okay. Let's focus on the health also. All right. Um, there uh, until the 12th, it may, you may have fluctuations of health, um, good days, bad days with your health. So that's something that we need to look out for. And work can be quite stressful this time. Um, so try to manage that by doing um, breathing exercises and allowing yourself to inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale first. Okay. Um, yeah, because it's about the oxygen in the head. This is what I'm feeling for you. Um, yeah, let's proceed with the reading. Okay. Be careful. Don't make any rash judgment about ending something, something that you want to end. Don't do it right now. Okay. Let's start here for my Virgos. Let's see. Four of Wands, definitely relationship is a focus. Four of Pentacles, you're holding back. Okay. Always consider your Dasha and your Antar Dasha before the transit. The transit may or may not happen, but the Dasha, mm, set in stone, kinda. Mm. All right. Um, be there for me. This is what I'm hearing. Be there for me, understand me, and I hope you appreciate me. Something about you right now, it's like you're not giving effort anymore because you want them to feel the need to be more, let's just say, appreciative of you. The efforts that you put in the relationship, the amount of care, the amount of, you know, you are very responsible. You can be a provider here. You can be a person who is, uh, I feel like, excuse me, um, the nurturer in the relationship. You guys could have kids together. You're saving money to buy a house also. You're saving the relationship. That's what I feel. You're saving a relationship that is very important to you. But you don't want to make effort anymore. And you're more on the like, I'm divided. I'm divided. Four of Wands, right here. Very important for you. The stability of the relationship is what you're aiming for right now. Four of Pentacles, making it secure. Less is more, this is what you're saying. I need to be appreciated, I need to be loved, I need to be respected, I need to be cared. Empress mode, right? So you're vibing right now. You are well off with an empress. Okay, you may just have bought your first house or you own your own house. That's good. 
Okay. And it will just pay off already. That's good, right? So you, you are good at investment. Now, Empress is Taurus and Libra. Mm hmm. You may be connecting with your baby dada also. Something about money. If you guys have kids, you may be talking about alimony, support, or about savings for some. Okay. I'm combining the planets there. Huh. Um, you may also change the your diet. Like I'm seeing here, you're changing your food intake. Healthy, more healthy. You, your person is quite complex and complicated with regards to um, you making an effort. They're complicated because it's for them. They cannot handle how you handle things. You can be a perfectionist. And they're not, you know, you want certain ways or certain things in life and they cannot give that to you, especially if it's about being in a secure relationship because you guys have separated five swords and a ten of ones. They're claiming that they cannot give to you what you wanted, a family, a relationship or a partnership. They can't. Mm -hmm. The five of swords looks sad, defeated. So it's a war that is useless, meaning you guys have tried to battle it out and it wasn't successful. Six of Wands over here shows that you are moving forward in life. Okay. I'm moving. Uh, not to you, them. Um, so they're single right now. Seeing other people can be going out, meeting friends. Um, they're owning basically being single. Hmm. You've grown distant of this connection. You have the world. Mm -hmm. Mm. Oh, quite possessive this person is. Oh, yeah. Can be same genitalia, whatever you prefer. Far off ones in the world. For you right now, Virgo, you what matters to you is that your home, your life, yourself, your kids, or people that matter, people that care for you. You're in the crossroads, two of swords, to show to this person that I'm okay now. I'm finally over. I'm seeing other people. So basically, like, I'm getting involved with other people. King of Wands and the Empress, you're showing the Yang side now. You're more active. You're more involved in your life. King of Swords, the Devil, and the Ace of Pentacles, here they come. They don't like it that you have your freedom. They hate that you're able to move on from them. When I say hate, maybe hate is too strong. I mean, but they despise you. Oh, that's, that's even stronger. So it's like a thesaurus over here. Because the King of Swords, the Devil, and the Ace of Pentacles, they they're they're going to come back with something irresistible. Because that's the devil right there. With the world over here, this person is a um, a hardship for you, like a lesson that is gonna be um, like you're going through this so tough, but it is a hard lesson. It's gonna get better, but you're still on it. You're still in this tunnel. You haven't really separated with them, but with the two of swords over here, you're questioning. It's like I should have, and I will with the king of wands. But this person with the five swords and the devil, they do know how to trigger you. They're aware of their action. Because the ace of pentacles with the six of ones, they're also going to show that they're going out. They're also going to show like, oh, they're doing well. Um, this is the part where the devil comes in because it is manipulation. So as soon as you have made your choice and move on, that's the time this person kind of like shakes things up. Because now you're also moving on. So they don't want you there. So then let's ask this devil card right here, right? So the devil is about the temptation. That's them also showing to you like, oh, I'm seeing other people. Let's see what is that about. Mm -hmm. Guys, remember this shirt, by the way. Today we all remember who you want to be. Do check out our apparel collection. I'm wearing a size medium. So do check it out. We have Zodiac base. We have everything there. Um, let me see. It's First card is always strongest. So let's see what happens in the four of ones. This is the relationship and partnership. 
What's the future of this connection? An eye for an eye. Who wins? This is what you want. King and Queen of King and Queen of Wands. The two of you are eye to eye with this one. Okay. Playing a tough game, basically. Who wins here? Okay. Now, this offer is a pentacles of stability, connection, groundedness. Is this offer going towards you? Will they make that offer? Because they're already wanting you back. Um, and two of swords, since the relationship is in a crossroads. What happens now? Is there separation? It goes to three of swords. Or is there ace of swords? Because it goes back to the ace. Is there communication going to manifest between the two of you? Right? Because you're heavily invested in yourself right now. You have a glow up with that empress. You know your value. But you find yourself still stuck with the devil. Mm. All right? So, guys, I'm going to continue this reading. Link down there in the description box below. This is a grand reveal. We answer all of your questions together with the oracle in the extended. Do check out, of course, the bamboo for this coming new moon. Don't forget the new moon. Get it before the new moon so you can have your ritual ready for what you're manifesting. It comes in eight kinds. Um, I, ex I explained, like, you know, um, of course, the growth for the new moon is the, the bamboo. The water is the moon for me. And the crystal is the frequency that you're man man manifesting. So do check it out. It's going to be down there. Also, the apparel. Download our app available at uh, Apple and Android. Visit our website, eatreadlove.me. And also visit our store. We're the only, you know, channel that has a flagship store here in Los Angeles. And I want you guys to visit it also whenever you get the chance. Okay? Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Bye.